Hi everyone. Let me ask you one question. Who don't want free things? Free stuff is always a good thing, right? Oh yeah. Especially in a country that things can get pretty much quite expensive, like Singapore. So in this video, we are going to share to you the 12 free things to do in Singapore. So without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with Changi Airport. If you are arriving in Singapore by plane, might as well explore around on the best airport in the world. Get amazed by this new spectacular site, The Wonderfall, which you can find in Terminal 2. You can even watch some movies here at the cinema theaters at Terminals 2 and 3. Want to have some fun and adrenaline rush? Try the slide at Terminal 3, which is four stories high and the world's tallest slide in an airport. And of course, don't miss out this beautiful rain vortex at the Jewel. At night, the waterfall comes with light, which makes it even more marvelous. Don't miss out the light and sound show, which is available every night, but the timing varies depending on the day and the season, so you better check out the website to avoid any disappointment. Don't worry about exploring around the airport, because there's a bridge link, as well as sky trains, which can get you around terminals 1, 2, and 3, as well as the Jewel. Terminal 4 is the only one separated, but not to worry because they also provide shuttle bus to get you around. Number 2. Experience the beauty of Gardens by the Bay. There's no reason for you to miss out this place, because you're free to explore around their expansive garden and get amazed by these beautiful super tree groves. It is accessible from 5am to 2am, but we highly recommend you to come at night because the super tree comes even more alive with these beautiful lights. And you'll get a chance to experience this wonderful Garden Rhapsody show, which is shown daily at 7.45 and 8.45 p.m. Number 3. Wander around Marina Bay Sands Just looking closely at this iconic landmark is already such an experience. Even though you're not staying at their hotel, you can still walk around the lobby and dine in at their restaurants. Besides the hotel, there are so much more to explore around. It has a mall on its own, and it's popular for selling luxurious brands from across the world. And you'll find this stunning digital light canvas. Although there's an admission fee to enter, you can still freely get mesmerized by this amazing technology and beautiful lights. MBS has also a casino, and it is free to enter for foreigners. Just outside the mall is the waterfront promenade. From here, you will find this breathtaking cityscape view. And don't miss out this MBS Spectra Light and Water Show, showing daily at 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Number 4. Experience Sailing at the Bay Could you believe that there is a chance to experience sailing at the bay for free? Yes, you can through these DBS sailboats. Since it is free and open to the public, and due to the popularity of the program, slots are always filled up as soon as they are released. So do sign up early to avoid disappointment. I will share the booking link below for your reference. Number 5. Get entertained at Esplanade. Besides admiring its beautiful structure, you can also get entertained through their free shows, performances, and concerts. Sounds really cool, right? Number 6. Discover Cultural Neighborhoods Experience the Chinese culture here at Chinatown. Discover the Chinese heritage and culture through its old temples, historic and colorful shop houses, and traditional wet markets. Now to learn more about Muslim culture and history, Arab Street is the place to be. Besides this gorgeous mosque, which we will show you in a while, the area is also filled with interesting boutiques, colorful street arts, and many restaurants and bars. Just few blocks away, you will find the Little India, which is said to be Singapore's most colorful and most vibrant cultural neighborhood. You will enjoy walking around this place even just by looking at these gorgeous Indian clothing, Hindu statues and prayer items, and other Indian cultural stuffs. Number 7. Visit Places of Worship Singapore is a multi-religious society, 
so you can visit different places of worship to learn more about each religion and beliefs. One of the famous Catholic Church is the St. Alphonsus Church, also known as Novena Church. One of the most famous Hindu temples is the Sri Viramakalyaman Temple. Another Hindu temple worth visiting is the Sri Mariaman Temple. Get amazed by this beautiful golden dome, Masjid Sultan Mosque. The mosque is open to visitors, however, certain areas may be restricted during prayer times. You can visit this Buddha Tooth Relic Temple and Museum, which is Singapore's most famous Buddha temple and has truly a stunning architecture inside and out. The next place is the Haupar Villa. Although this is not a place of worship, but a cultural park, it is still a perfect place to learn more about the Chinese religion, as well as Chinese literatures and folklores. Plus, it is free and enjoyable to walk around. Number 8. Relax at Sentosa Beach Who wouldn't want a moment to just chill and relax? And here at Sentosa, you have three golden sand beaches to choose from. First is the Siloso Beach. In this area, you will find more bars and activities to do. Second, we have the Palawan Beach. Here, you will be able to cross this floating bridge or even relax at this hammock swings. And third but not the least is the Tanjong Beach. This is the most peaceful one because simply it's the furthest most but it's the perfect place for ultimate relaxation. And did you know that you can enter the Sentosa Island without needing to pay any admission fees? And that is by walking through the Sentosa Boardwalk which you can find next to this Vivo City Mall. And you can explore easily around Sentosa Beach by using these free shuttles. Number 9. Walk with Nature Want to get away from the busy, hustling city? There are so many public gardens and parks you can walk around, like this famous Singapore Botanic Gardens. Besides enjoying the peaceful scenery, you can even pack some snacks and go for a picnic. Another example is this Fort Canning Park, which is located at the central area. Not only you'll be able to walk around with these peaceful parks, but you can even discover the wonders of nature. Number 10. Burn calories through walking trails. You'll be surprised to discover that Singapore has so much walking trails in it. And some of it even offers you breathtaking sceneries, which makes your trekking even more enjoyable. So better get up yourself, burn those calories, and go for some walking trails. Number 11. Learn in the library. You should never stop learning because learning is a lifelong journey and knowledge is power. Well, good thing here in Singapore, there are about 31 public libraries where you can enter and read some books and articles. Just take note that borrowing books to bring back home is only exclusive to those with membership. And finally, number 12, volunteer on charities. Have you ever thought of making a difference in your life and in the lives of others? Well, volunteering for charities is a great way to give back to your community and to this world. Here in Singapore, there are so many charities you can take part in. Trust me, you will really feel good about helping out as well as gain some valuable skills and experience of a lifetime. So, that's it! The 12 free things to do in Singapore. Thank you for watching and good luck with your future travels. Bye!